Interesting to note the size of the hooks there. We can just have a quick look at the size of the hook there. They're quite a small hook, but I can tell you right now, after fishing for two for, for these for two years, uh, they are also a very strong hook. So I'm going to talk about hook size in just a minute because some stuff's been happening this week. Uh, when I'm using the uh, jitterbugs and any soft baits uh, or any artificials like that at all, I always use uh, fluorocarbon leader. The reason being is that fluorocarbon is incredibly strong and it is also near invisible in the water too, so um, that is a very good thing when you're fishing with a lure, or even a bait, I like to use it with live baits as well. Uh, Black Magic do a very good fluorocarbon that is uh, very well priced, and this is the stuff that I use. Uh, fishing in the Gulf in sort of through 30 through to 70 metres, which is about as deep as the Gulf gets, I use 40 pounds. If I get uh, dusted off um, or rubbed up, uh, I, I switch up to uh, 50 or 60. Uh, and when I'm live baiting, I've basically started about 80 pound through to 100 pound for live baiting. Black Magic Fluorocarbon with your jitterbugs and any soft baits, awesome. Uh, just on a side note, uh, if you're finding the bite, the bite is very soft and you're not getting the fish, or you're missing the bites, um, then swap down in leader size. So swap right down to a 30 pound, even 20 pound, and back your drag off. Okay, so that's it. Um, the kids bait, the jitterbugs with replacement skirts, uh, matched with some fluorocarbon. The other thing that is hot right now, and this is not new at all, but this is hot right now for bait fishermen, is the Black Magic Snapper Snatcher. Now, I'm a big fan of these, uh, being a charter boat operator for 17 years, I've seen a lot of fish get caught on these, a lot of big fish get caught on these, a lot of kingfish get caught on these, and uh, the 5 bar uh, Snapper Snatcher, in red and yellow. I don't know whether you can see those colours through there, but that there is when it comes to snap up to snapper snatching, that there is the gold shot. Very well priced, been around a long time, very good product. So getting back to the hook size thing. The other day we're out fishing, we normally fish with a six, seven, eight burrow hook, uh, maybe a whole pilchard, whole squid, uh, half pilly, half squid on dropper rigs and we were missing a lot of fish. Now what uh, Chris did, um, skipper on diversity, he got the crew to switch down to four burrow hooks and um, <laughs> the problem when you switch down at hooks is you sometimes switch down in strength depending on the size of the hook and depending on the brand of the hook. Uh, we were using the Black Magic, um, the new Black Magic Sea Point hooks, we swapped down to a four burrow and uh, all of a sudden the catch rate went up so we then swapped over to VMC Gamma Katsu and the Black Magic uh, Sea Point hook and the catch again went up and uh, we ended up getting 90 odd snapper where it was looking like we were probably going to get 40 or 50. So keep that in mind, just because something's not working, switch it up. This time of year the fish are often schooling, uh, well they are schooling, not often, they are schooling, and they are schooling for a reason, and that reason is to spawn, and you don't eat burgers when you're giving the missus one, do you? So they may not always be hard on the feed, they may not always be aggressive on the feed, they may not all want to come on together and feed together, so the little things that you do can often make a big difference uh, to your results. So, what's been happening? 
the fish uh, today, and this is hot off the press. Uh, the fish today have been east of Flat Rock, uh, across the telecom cable on the 50 metre finger that comes down on the chart, you can't miss that. Uh, also between there and Anchorite there have been some workups today, uh, quite good numbers of fish coming out and quite a good average size fish, sort of 2 kilo through to 3 kilo average size. Uh, the workups have been up and down the outside of the telecom cable area there, that's across the telecom cable, the eastern side of it. Uh, sporadic uh, workups, quite small and patchy, and then it'll die as normally someone drives straight into the middle of it and screws it up for you. Try and avoid that if you can, you guys. And then it'll, it'll come up somewhere else and they'll move down. Also, south of um, Flat Rock, uh, along the 40 metre mark, south of that 50 metre mark, down towards Terry, the workups are through there. The other place I heard about it happening was uh, just around the corner from Challenger Island and down towards Motor Aura. Quite a good work up in there this morning, so that was earlier on. Uh, also, due east of Terry and down where the telecom cable turns the corner, we call it the elbow, and I spoke about this last week. That area there has been pretty consistent. We've been fishing in there all week, sort of anywhere between 70 and 90 snapper a day through there. Um, on a number of things. Now for me the key things have been making sure that you're matching the hatch. So just because you always go out and fish with pilchard doesn't mean they're going to take pilchard every time. So you need to change the variety of baits, you need to use fresh bait, you need to change the style of lure, you need to maybe change your skirt colour, you maybe need to change your hook size, you maybe need to change your leader size, you maybe need to change your style altogether. So always make sure that you're willing to cover your bases at this time of the year when the fish are schooling and when they've got other things on their minds. Get at the top catch and uh, get your free packet of squid bait when they take the kids fishing. It's an awesome deal. Good on big ups to them for getting the young kids involved. I'm a big fan of that. Make sure you support Legacy. Go to legacy.co.nz and support your rights as a recreational fisher to have access to the sea and to the kaimoana, the food that's in it. That is your birthright. Don't let the people try and take that away from you and make sure that you contribute your 20 bucks to help fund that cause. There's a lot of hard working people and a lot of hard work going on behind the scenes to look after our rights as individuals in New Zealand so make sure you go and support them. Also keep an eye in store for the range of Taplet products. This is a range of 100% natural New Zealand made, New Zealand owned marine products that are 100% readily biodegradable, non-staining, completely non-toxic, completely marine safe and kids safe. They sponsor this report, they give you the information and they bring you awesome and safe marine products to use. So keep an eye in store uh, as they come in. They're currently in stock in Yeeha, they're going to be in stock in the Top Catch stores uh, hopefully before Christmas and into the new year. Keep an eye for those. Also, go to Diversity Dash Fishing on Facebook. We just gave away to Kevin McCarthy, I think it was, an awesome prize pack of jitterbugs and Shimano uh, snapper lures and t-shirts and tacklet gear. Keep an eye out there. Uh, every time we hit another 100 likes, we give away another cool prize. So I think there's about uh, another 80 likes and uh, somebody else is going to get a prize. Let's see if we can crack uh, another 100 likes before Christmas. I'll go and give away another awesome prize pack. Make sure you catch us at www.charterconnection.co.nz Make sure you go to tacklet.co.nz You can buy your products online there as well And make sure that you take the kids fishing this summer Get in and get your free pack of a bait at Top Catch Stay safe out there everybody I'm trying to get in another fishing report before Christmas I'll do my very best I should be able to get away with that uh, This is Damo signing off from the Tacklet Marine And... Charter Connection Fishing Charters.